Hey, it's Pastor Mike. A really small step that could be a really big blessing to our ministry and to the kingdom of God is you taking just a second to rate and review this podcast. You probably know how algorithms work. More people get to hear about this podcast and most importantly, hear about Jesus when you do. So thanks for helping us out and may God bless you today. So in this series, we've been looking at how God can bring good even out of things that are bad. And as we wrap up the series in this video, I'm going to challenge you to think about things a little bit differently. You see, normally when bad things happen in my life, and maybe for you too, the question I naturally go back to is one that's kind of self-focused. If God promises that all things will work out for my good, where's the good in this for me? And I want to pinpoint that question today. Whenever you experience bad things in your life, maybe you tend to ask that same question. If God promises all things will work out for good, where's the good in this for me? And the challenge is this, maybe this isn't about you at all. Here's some challenging words that I found from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. It says this, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So sometimes the, the bad things that might come into your life are just an opportunity for you and for me to receive comfort from God. And, and what is comfort? Comfort is simply receiving the blessing of God's faithfulness to his promises. Let me give you some examples. It's one thing to believe that God has a plan for you. It's another thing to experience his plan when your plans fail. It's one thing to believe that God will provide for you. It's another thing to receive the experience of his providence when you're not sure how you can provide for yourself. And also, it's one thing to believe that Jesus is the resurrection, but it's another thing to receive resurrection comfort at the funeral of your loved one. You see, the way that God comforts us is through the hardships of life. And those hardships give us an opportunity to hold on to his promises. So when it comes to your life, maybe you've received this from other people, that you were going through a hardship, but they were able to walk alongside you because they had gone through something similar. So I know that when it comes to the bad things that we might experience in our lives, we might just automatically ask the question, where's the good in this for me? But what we know is that this might be an opportunity for God to comfort you so that you in turn can comfort someone else. After all, isn't that what God called us into? When it came to the, the bad things that Jesus experienced when, when he was being arrested and betrayed and eventually sentenced to death, he never asked, where's the good in this for me? He went through all of that because it was good for you and for me. And maybe God is calling you to the same. There are so many amazing ways that God can bring good into your life, even through the bad things that you experience. But maybe today he's going to call on you to go through something difficult that isn't for you and it's not about you, but it will allow you to comfort someone else. So I hope this series has been a help for you as you think about the many ways that God might be working good, even when there's bad. And as we close, I want to say a prayer for all of you who are tuned in. Dear Father, thank you so much for the amazing ways that you can work in ways that we can't even see. Your kingdom extends to all of us in different ways. And sometimes those ways can seem hard and difficult and even bad. But in this series, we've seen some amazing ways where you can work good, even through bad. And we hold you to keep your promises of who you are and what you've done. In Jesus' name. Amen.